Hey everyone, what's up? This is Michael with Prego Italia, Living Our Italian Dream. I am introducing this video, uh, Justin will be the main one talking in it. He wanted to go ahead and make a video letting you guys know about what's going on with him, about his stay in the hospital, and about all of that. Uh, we know from the last video that I posted that a lot of you guys are very concerned, a lot of you guys sent him well wishes, and he wanted to take the chance to be able to respond to those wishes and respond to all of you guys. So without further ado, here's Justin. Hello everyone, this is Justin. I wanted to say thank you so much for all the wonderful, beautiful comments. They really kept me going and brought me so much joy uh, while I'm here in the hospital. Um, I've had a hard time <laughs> making a video, first of all, because uh, my roommates usually sleep and such and I can't wake anyone. Um, so I thought I'd take the opportunity. Now they let me go to a room that no one was in to film. This is actually, I believe my I think I'm in on my, this might be my sixth day. I came in on Sunday. I think that was the second. Today's the sixth. Tomorrow's actually my birthday. So what a joyous place to celebrate my birthday. But um, quite honestly, I'd rather celebrate my birthday here alive than the other alternative. So I'm, I'm very thankful uh, that I was able to get to the hospital in this situation. I'm actually in the hospital for a lung infection. I guess technically a uh, water in the lung. There's a you know medical term for it, but I don't want to try to choke that one out, pulmonary something or another. Um, but the layman would be water in the lung and they're giving me antibiotics, which are supposed to help um, clear it up. So I've been getting a lot of IVs and everything and very thankful to that. Um, if you're wondering, um, I'll tell you how I, um, what happened. So um, before I had come in, I was feeling really tired, extremely tired, almost like technically fainting and blacking out a little bit and I couldn't wake up. I knew something was wrong and I just all over had this fatigue. I was fearing, obviously, something the whole world's fearing right now. Um, luckily, when I came to the hospital, of course, before I could even enter, they did a test. I had to wait 20 minutes and thank goodness that was negative before I could even enter the hospital. And I was having chest pain, so that's what brought me to the ER because I thought, oh no, I hope it's not some heart problem. Um, I guess my body all over. I also had a little bout of uh, diverticulitis, which I have about maybe every six to months to once a year, and that happened to be lining up at the same time, so I had a stomach ache. And then on top of it, um, the pain in my chest was growing. I was feeling fatigued, so I thought it was time to go to the ER due to the chest pain. And um, I called our lovely friend Nelson because I could have taken an ambulance uh, but Nelson, I needed to have help translate, which I knew I would in this situation. Uh, originally, he wasn't allowed in, but once they got the slab of meat here that they realized couldn't speak or understand Italian, they did approve him to come in. And boy, what a trooper he was, because I poked him three times with the IV, I think, because I'm hard to get an IV into. So there was a lot of like icky blood and the different pokes. So how kind of him to sit through that and such, but it's so very kind of Nelson to help translate my, um, you know, the symptoms and everything. And they did, I guess, an EKG, and it wasn't a heart attack, so I think they were actually planning like, oh, I could go home if I want to, but Nelson told me I had the right to stay for tests, and I know my body um, with as many things as I've had in the past, so I knew I, something was wrong and off. Thank goodness I stayed, um, because the next day I actually had to sleep on a cot in the ER, um, not being admitted until the next day, by mid-afternoon, I think they got me some ultrasound and then went ahead to a CT scan because um, um, obviously something was flagged and that's what they diagnosed. So I was admitted and told I'd be here about a week or so. Italians do uh, uh, keep you extra time, I've heard, uh, just to be safe. So hopefully everything is clearing and um, hopefully I'll be back soon because I really miss Michael and the doggies and the villa. I know Michael's had to halt work at the villa, unfortunately, because he felt it was too much pressure for him uh, to do while I was away. And I want to thank all the um, friends that we have that have helped him. Um, after, we'll do a thank you video to everyone, but um, we're just so grateful. And a special shout out, though, um, to our friend Bonnie um, from Santa Dominica to Lab. She's just a living angel. She, on her own, drove all the way down here. I'm in Belvedere, which is a, probably a half hour south of 
Leslie or so, and she drove a little farther than that. After gathering, uh, Chris and Pete Sobolov were kind enough to also help get groceries. Um, and um, Bonnie got a lot of different items for me, put a care package together, and Bonnie drove down and delivered it. And that was a real blessing because um, in Italy, you know, I don't want this all about me, so I'll give you some hospital tips. You do bring your own um, luggage, like you're going away to a hotel. And I mean, all toiletries, you need to bring uh, your own towel and pajamas. Actually, you need to bring your own water. Yes, you do need to bring your own water. They do not supply water. Um, so you uh, make sure you have plenty of water with you and snacks like you're going on a long vacation. And you even need to bring your own hand soap. So thank you to Bonnie and hand sanitizer and everything. But in Italy, for some reason, you should always carry hand soap throughout the country because a lot of times it's not stocked. Um, even here, I found it odd though, but the rooms aren't stocked with hand soap, um, even in the ER public area. So that's just something, you know, you'll find it in Italy and, you know, private businesses and restaurants sometimes. But uh, it's a good idea to carry your own sanitizer, hand soap, even toilet tissue. But when you do come to a hospital, make sure, I guess it's just like ladies do in the movies where they have the luggage package when they're uh, pregnant and ready to deliver. It's the same situation for all. Bring a suitcase with you, um, everything you think you might need for potentially a week's stay. Personal medications bring as well. They do provide medications, but just in case there's something, you know, in communication not between your doctor that you do take, like I bring uh, personal prescriptions and I do take them, letting them know, of course. And then what they do have a, um, pr provide as well what they need to give you and such. So just think ahead and anything you think you might need, bring. And once again, I cannot thank Bonnie enough. It was so lovely to see her lovely face and sparkling personality. She was able to uh, find my room um, coming to the back window. Upon Actually, I took pictures of the view I saw from the window and she kindly went around the hospital until she found the reverse of that view. She came to the window. We got to um, have you know the window open and she was able to give me the care packages and visit for a while, which was very lovely. She's actually a retired nurse um, for, um, I, I believe for 40 years she was a nurse in, in America. So it's been so sweet. She's called me every day and given me her, um, you know, asking what they did and everything and then her, her advice and everything. So it's just, she's just a doll. I'm so lucky to have her in my life. I love you, Bonnie. And thank you, Chris and Pete Sobelove. And thank you to our dear friend, Nancy. and. And um, um, so many people have been so kind with their calls and checking in and, and many friends. And I want to thank everybody. I've got a whole laundry list of thank yous, Michael. And I promise afterwards we'll do a follow-up video when we're together. And just thank everybody because I know personally people have reached out and helped him. And it's been a blessing because um, as everyone probably knows, Michael's physical disability prevents him from driving. So um, I'm a very codependent person. I feel really bad that I'm not there to take care of him. And, and such so um he knows that that will stress me and told me not to worry so i've been trying my hardest not to because you know i'm here just worried more about him than myself so i'm so thankful to people that have helped him out taking him to the market and different uh situations and afterwards we'll explain some of the fun things that he had um while i've been in here but um it, it's been interesting and this is not my idea of living my italian dream being in a hospital in Italy, but it's just a fact of life and everything. So um, don't be afraid of them when you're here. Um, they are shared rooms. I'm hearing more. Um, Chris and Bonnie and I have been talking. They're checking into potentially those like private upgrades to get more uh, private care or something on top of the, the wonderful um, complimentary, you know, medical system that um, is Italy, and um, which I'm so grateful for. Um, that'll all be explained more. I guess more how it'll sit down with the. Uh, and also something and we'll go over the Italian medical system because I, I find it awesome and very humane, um, you know, um, system for medical care. Um, of course, if, you know, um, the BYOB situation is a trade-off, but I certainly can't complain and I'm very grateful. Um, and the staff has been very nice. I do not uh, know or understand, uh, you know, what they're saying to me without the occasional nurse to rely on that might know a little English that helps out. And Google Translator is an overload. Even the doctors kindly use them back and forth with me. And some of the nurses, they're very patient and understanding. Um, so I appreciate that. And most importantly, I'm the foreigner here. I'm the one that should be responsible enough to know and understand and speak Italian with them, especially in emergency situations. Um, you know, I'm grateful to Nelson for helping 
um, in the ER and that important and, you know, entry of, so there were no mistakes of uh, communication errors. That was helpful, but I'm on my own here with Google. I don't have Wi-Fi, so um, I don't know how it's even been working. WhatsApp's been working, but pretty much everything else hasn't. So um, I guess it's a blessing when my <laughs> translator works um, on the phone here. Um, but it's just it's something you really just have to, it inspires you to learn Italian. So I hope the helpful tips help everyone out regarding make sure you bring your own water. You know, I mean, you, you just don't want to come in and not be prepared. Um, I think, I'm sure you could probably ask a nurse or something to try to go to a vending machine. Or in worst case scenario, to drink tap water. So I don't think you want to do that. So just know ahead of time as you come in, uh, do not be afraid if you're in pain. If you're an American, go to an ER. Um, you will be covered and, and treated very nicely. And that even accounts for an American tourist when you're here. If you go through the ER, once again, I want to reiterate, if you have a life-threatening emergency, a heart attack or something, your stay is covered by the Italian government. And that is a wonderful thing we should celebrate and be thankful for. And the U.S. really should uh, be ashamed of itself. I know Canada and a lot of other countries obviously have similar system and it's really something that's awesome. Okay, I don't know what's up with America on that one, but you know, it's, it's about humans, life, saving lives and keeping people healthy and alive. Well, I hope to be out hopefully in a few days. If all goes well, I'll keep you posted. So uh, uh, Italian um, hospitals are known for keeping people extra long preventatively to make sure they're all taken care of. But it gets boring, really boring to be away from the one you love and your home and everything. So I'm hoping I'm out hopefully very soon. Um, I was able to uh, get my breath back to speak because I was pretty out of it when I first got in. So my spirits are up, I'm feeling better. So. Um, and make sure I walk around uh, the room a lot for exercise and such. Uh, they do provide television in the room, but my roommate, I, you know, it's Italian, obviously, so I let them control it. Um, I've been moved to a second room. I won't get into the drama on the first one. Oh, boy. My first few nights in were um, shared with a, a very nice um, young man that had a misfortunate life of abuse, and um, he's... Uh, I guess should be, in my opinion, in a mental uh, type of situation where they can handle trauma because he literally screams all day and all night and such. They finally moved me from the room because I was not getting sleep. Um, bless his heart and I wish him the best. But I finally got moved last night to a room with a very nice gentleman, um, older gentleman who's polite and kind and quiet. And I let him have control of the television, of course, because he speaks Italian. So um, I slipped away to another room, as I mentioned, they let me go to, to talk because I didn't want to wake him. He's having a nap, very respectful of others. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully the tips help you out as well. I want to thank you all so much. Most importantly, uh, Michael read me all the messages because I don't have Wi-Fi here. And literally uh, I brought tears to my eyes. I want to thank everyone so much for the outpour of kind words and everything. And I, I really feel all the energy. I feel it and I want to thank you all and just everything that I've heard him say. I just want to say personally thank you to each and every one of you. It's so kind, so touching and so heartwarming. So I, I hope I don't tear up because I'm a, <laughs> not shy to be emotional. But um, thank you so much. It's been beautiful and um, bocce bocce. I truly love you all and it's a blessing to have you all in our lives. Michael and I both feel that way and I cannot wait to see you all soon back making fun videos. Well, I'm speaking for Michael here and myself, Bachi Bachi, we love you. And I cannot wait to be with him hand in hand, enjoying the regular videos that we make and back to Villa Renovation and dining out and traveling and to see you all, meet you all when you're ever in the area. Love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to go ahead and briefly reiterate what Justin said because it's true on my part as well. Um, all of the comments that you guys have left and all of the support, the kind words, the well wishes, and the concern, they are all greatly appreciated. You guys are so sweet and we are so thankful for all of you. Um, having those comments to read, having the concern and the care that you guys have given us really makes it so much easier in this type of situation. So we thank you for that so much. 
Um, we also would like to once again say a very big thank you to everybody that um, was able to help out with um, errands or with um, taking care of things, um, helping me take care of things or helping Justin take care of things. Uh, I would like to once again thank Bonnie and Pete and Chris and Nelson and Nancy. You guys are so awesome. You have made this so much easier in this time that was stressful. So thank you guys so much. Um, we are expecting that Justin will hopefully, fingers crossed, be out of the hospital uh, soon. And if that's the case, then he will and I will together start making more videos showing our Italian dream. I will also be uh, sort of um, making up his lost birthday for him. <laughs> but until then, um, uh, thank you again for the well wishes, you guys. It is very, very kind and we love you all. Bachi bachi. Hey Justin, okay, so look at our little girl. She's so huge right now. And here's Pete sitting here. <laughs> hey, at the beach. At the beach. This is great. We're enjoying the beach. So we're gonna send you a little beach along so you can enjoy it too, because it's just stunning today. There will be many, many beautiful days when you are sprung. We're gonna have to make you a cake with a file in it <laughs> and spring you from the hospital. <laughs> yeah, but it won't be long. I mean, another week hopefully, and then you'll be out and about and uh, everything will be good and we'll get into all kinds of mischief and fun. But in the meantime, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day and our cute little girl. Okay, we're sending you all healing vibes and much love. See ya.